Hey, so I made a little uh, video to uh, show off a couple of my radioactive items here. This is a uh, Fiesta Wear plate. These were made in the early, uh, I think, 20s. I want to say 20s and 30s. And they used the uranium uh, ore in the glaze because it made it that vibrant orange color that people liked back then. Um, you can still find these in antique shops and eBay. I picked that one up, one up on eBay for 10 bucks. Yeah, let's see how radioactive it is. Let me get my Geiger counter. I might be hearing it take away right now. It's at 47 CPM, which is counts per minute. That's normal background radiation. I'm going to bring it close to the slate. You're going to hear it. That might seem like it's uh, high or whatever, but it really isn't. If you knew the scale, it sounds scarier than it is. All right, so I would say roughly 31,000 CPM on this one. Let's take a look at my little uh, bigger stash here. Let's see what could be in here. So I got my uh, collection here. This is my lead line case. It is pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to skip right to the good stuff. Uh, this one is my favorite and most active rock. This one comes from the Congo. It's a uraninite ore. Uraninite and then can't remember the name of the green stuff. Uraninite's the black stuff. But let's put this here. See what the Geiger counter says. Right. Oh, it's already it's already uh detecting it. I'm not even near it. Here we go. Wi-Fi data sent failed. I wonder why. Uh, it's still going. Alright. So, yeah. That particular spot was about 120. I don't remember how much it was exactly. Alright, well. Yeah, that one's pretty spicy. one is called this thing is called a lead pig and I'm going to show you what that is in a moment I do want to show you the rock that uh, I actually got from that was um, that was actually prospected by Bob Lazar himself that would be this sample right here Uh, 
this one's pretty uh, active as well. Receivers and counting, so yeah, that one's set. Spicy and meatball. Now, these, uh, this is a little americium button. These used to be in smoke detectors. I don't know. Uh, if you remember the little radioactive warning sign, if you're old enough, this thing uh, has a little tiny sample of americium. It's uh, an extremely strong alpha emitter. I'm going to put that right there. And uh, alpha particles don't travel very far. And uh, you can block it with a sheet of paper. So I'm going to put this Geiger counter right about here. Can you see? That's, that's not... That's not that far. It doesn't look like it's that bad. You can put the piece of paper on there. Not bad. Nothing. Okay. Let's see what happens when you take away the paper. sample. Don't mind me, I'm just dropping emery seam on the floor. Out. And this is a 10 micro curie sample of uh, cesium-137 and uh, it's right in that little dot right in that acrylic and the back side isn't really that radioactive. Let's see if I uh if I put that down and do this. It's not I mean, yeah, for sure it's gonna be something. But yeah, I guess that's about twelve K. Let's see what happens when I turn it over. It's not the Geiger counting, Geiger counter going bad. That's because it's so radioactive it can't even play the sound anymore. It's, it's clicking so fast that the, the, the piezoelectric element inside can't keep up, so it's just silent. Eventually this thing would max out if I kept it like this. 
so yeah, that's uh, definitely some hot stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching.